these jobs don't come about very often. This is a, this is a real pleasure to be a part of, um, to kind of play a really kind of iconic character uh, in a band that just is loved by so many people. Um, but I also thought that, like, just in the telling of the story, it's a, it's a very human a very human story. You see them all as individuals. That Yes, they're iconic rock gods, um, but the way that it's written, I think you actually see their frailties, their friendship, uh, their foibles. Um, you know, you see them as individuals and it breaks down this iconic person, this iconic character that's broken down into, you know, a human being. So the one thing that strikes you straight away is his, the way he can kind of captivate an audience. He has this unbelievable energy and connection with tens of thousands of people at once. And he has this ability just to kind of like uh, signal out one person and just engage that one person. But on a huge scale, he does that with, with everybody in a huge stadium. And I think it's that energy and uh, kind of magnetic, magnetic, magnetic kind of... Um, presence that he has. I grew up watching his films. I grew up watching uh, Wayne's World and everybody knows the iconic scene in the car when they're listening to Bohemian Rhapsody. And for many people, probably myself included, no, I listened to Queen a little bit before, but for many people that was their first introduction to Bohemian Rhapsody and to Queen. And so to have him uh, in this film was like this beautiful moment of synergy. It was like, uh, it felt appropriate that he, the person who brought this music to a new generation, was then kind of a part of our telling of the story. Queen is a band knew no uh, boundaries in terms of their tastes and styles. And within that song, you have the perfect example of them as a band. You know, it's got rock out sections, like heavy kind of heavy rock sections. It's got operatic sections. It's got you know, beautiful kind of a cappella sections, like tender ballad sections. It, it encapsulates them as a band. I was very privileged in the fact that I got to meet the man uh, quite early on. You know, he came and, and met us while we were still rehearsing. And um, we were all in a room uh, rehearsing some of the Live Aid uh, th uh, scenes. And he walked in. <laughs> And I'm there with a guitar around my neck, just thinking, please don't ask me to play, please. Um, but he just, what could be an awkward situation, he just disarmed it straight away. He came straight up to me and get, just gave me a big hug. Um, and he was just thoroughly excited and passionate and supportive. And he's never shown anything less than that throughout. You can't think of Brian May without thinking of the hair. You know, it's, it's his trademark, and he's kept it even now, you know, years later. Um, so it's so important to get that right, you know, because people, people love the band, love Queen, and that's part of it, is their look, their style. Starting the production with Live Aid was madness. It was, it was such a full-on thing to go in and start with that, because you're starting at the deep end, um, just in the scale of it to play in front of, in front of tens of thousands of people um, the the musical challenge to try and learn all of those songs but also you, you've got to try and kind of present a band that have been together for years that know each other inside out that had this bond and this connection um, but we rehearsed meticulously uh, we had a, an amazing movement director Polly Bennett who um, studied the footage meticulously to, in, in so much detail, to the extent you know we were kind of choreographing it and saying no, his his knee was just in turn, turned into just a little bit more than what you're doing, and it was really detailed. I hope that it will satisfy Queen fans, existing Queen fans. Um, I hope we managed to get across like the energy and excitement of of them as performers, um, but also I hope that it's a good introduction to people that have never heard of the band although that's difficult most people have heard of them but maybe haven't seen them live because that's the thing I'd always heard their music but I'd never seen them live and if we can get, just hopefully get across some of that magic of the way that they performed 
I think that would be a great achievement. Hey guys, what did you think of that video? Now, stay with me as I have a pretty interesting behind the scenes fact for you. Now, a lot of work goes into the making of movies and sometimes accidents can happen during production. The largest number of fatalities ever in a production of a film occurred during the shooting of the 1931 film Viking, when a ship they were shooting from exploded in the ice of the coast of Newfoundland. 27 people died, including producer and co-director Varek Frissel, as well as collaborator A.G. Penrod. The incident is one of the most infamous in movie history, and the film was made in tribute to those who lost their lives. The opening cards describing the accident and the film are genuinely touching. On that sad note, I will leave you and remind you that we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. See you soon.